morning, everyone. I am so excited because today is the first day of classroom setup for year four. I cannot believe it. It is already year four, but I am so excited. I have a whole bunch of stuff in my car as well as a whole bunch of stuff in my coat closet that we need to start getting out. In this coat closet, I actually have a lot of stuff that I need to go ahead and take down to my car. These lap desks I actually got from Ross, looked up on them. They were only $2.99 each, so I did get a few of them. I also need to take down this crate and this box to my car. I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I can get the day started. Looked up on this wagon as well. I got this wagon right here from Amazon. I probably like $30. I don't really remember, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna load everything up and I'm gonna put it in this wagon and then we're gonna take it down. So I went ahead, I put the lap desk and I put my backpack in the wagon. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna roll that downstairs. I did end up leaving the crate and the box in the cloak closet. I don't know y'all, I just, <laughs> already moving this stuff in the wagon already has me overwhelmed. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna leave everything in there. I'm going to take this stuff that's in my car and in the wagon and that's what I'm gonna take into my classroom today. Cause I already have a whole bunch of stuff in my class from last year and previous years. And then tomorrow, whenever I go up there, I might take this stuff out of a coat closet and take it. But right now, we just need to see what we're working with and we'll go from there. Oh, mommy! <laughs> Not that, hey, 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 baby, let it go. Let it go. Let, she thought she was eating the teach bracelet. About taking her, she's already getting in a whole bunch of stuff, so we're gonna go ahead. It's actually her, past her nap time, so she's gonna take a nap. I'm gonna be in my classroom for a few hours. I'll come back, might get her, or we'll see. Also, this is the first day outfit. Dress is from Target. Shoes are from a boutique. Jewelry is Pandora and thrifted. And then my necklace is from Hobby Lobby. everything in my car I have lots of bags mostly everything is on this side because I kind of pushed everything over I have a few things in the front seat y'all oh my goodness check this out look at this pillow this pillow is giving everything I cannot wait to put this in my classroom I'm so excited I have so I got so much decor so many different things for flexible seating. I also was looking on Facebook Marketplace to try and find a few things. Haven't been able to get in contact with some people because they're not responding for some reason. Hopefully I can get this one piece of flexible seating that I really want in my classroom. If I can, I feel like it'll put everything together. I've also been trying to look for a rug. I am kind of conflicted on if it's weird to have multiple different rugs in a classroom or if I just need like the little two that I have by my desk and in one of my flexible seating areas. I don't know, it's a little a little up in the air because I saw a teacher who did have multiple rugs and I absolutely love the idea. So we'll, we'll kind of see how that goes. I'm in the mood for a little drinky drink. So we might make a little stop. I don't know if I want, I don't know where I want. I really don't know where I want but I'll take you along on the ride and we'll see. Okay, we got it. So now let's head to our classroom. <sighs> we made it into my classroom. It looks so incredibly different than the way that I left it. They typically have us push everything over to one side of the room. Everything was on this side of the room. Now everything is spaced all throughout. I'm about to show you, but I will say that it does make it a little bit easier for me now that the desks are kind of spread out around and not stacked on top of, top of each other like we had to have them. This right here is what I'm currently working with. Not too much. I also brought a whole bunch of stuff in for my car. I have stuff on the floor that I brought in as well as stuff in this wagon. I think what I'm going to do is actually start off by placing my desk in groups. I think I might do groups of four and five. Looking at my 
of my classes did not change and I still have a class of 26, which that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that I have 26 desks in here and then we're gonna get to actually moving the desk and organizing. closet and immediately got anxiety honestly it's like I almost stuffed everything in this closet before I left I think that that's honestly what I did because I was so ready to get up out of here but on a lighter note we are starting to get somewhere I'm four desks short for some reason I don't know why I don't even know where the desks are so I am just gonna place the current desk that I do have place them in its own little space and then we'll go from there whenever the time comes and then whenever I get the desk that I am missing I'll put them in their place and then hopefully my room can be more put together fingers crossed I can get those desks by tomorrow um whenever I come back here don't know if I will be able to get them but fingers crossed this is what we're currently working with I still have my chairs up against the wall I'll place those in its place whenever I organize all the rest of my desk I do have a lot of room left still trying to figure out good placements for my desk hopefully we can get it there before i leave today little update on the desk i did get all of them organized thank god i'm about to put in a form to try and get my four desk by today it's the area that i think that i'm gonna put the four desk that i'm missing i'll probably shift everything over here down that way just so that these kids are not too close to my teacher table i'm really hoping that it all comes into place i am trying to find the oh I found it. The furniture request form. Name. What I'm going to go ahead and try and do now is move everything on this wall into its place. I feel like it'll make tomorrow and the days forward a lot easier. I really haven't touched my desk yet, but I know that I need to bring it up as well as put its rug and everything back here. It kind of stinks because I'm not exactly sure what I want for my desk area to look like, but I'm still really trying to think about it um, just to get a move on it. PD starts back for me next Monday, so I really want to take today and tomorrow maybe friday to get as much done as possible not really wanting to come up on the weekend i feel like we're off to kind of a good start my walls look so weird with them being completely empty like this like i'm not used to that because the anchor charts are always up so that's really really weird completely forgot to film it but i did just take down my butcher paper that i had on the wall to cover my sticker chart this little frame right here and then this affirmation mirror this affirmation mirror actually needs full whole new reconstruction so i am going to take those down and place some new ones up there it is 4 48 i'm gonna try and be out of here by 5 15 5 30 ish and i will be back tomorrow um my goal right now is to just take down the butcher paper kind of get an idea on where i want some of the things to be placed maybe start placing some things in those areas and then we will end up going home able to knock out one flexible seating thank goodness i put this pillow right here i don't know if i'm gonna keep it right there but it does go with the theme the whole black and white theme what i think what i think what i think what i think is that i'm going to place my turn-in trays over here where these chairs are last year and years before my turn-in trays have been over here but i think that i really like where my teacher table is and i might keep it there and then make this a student section over here right by the door not totally sure yet and what i'm also thinking is placing another flexible seating up in the front of the room um i bought some stools from five below i'm actually going to show you those here in a second that i think i can make work i really hope i can make it work fingers crossed we're gonna see but if if we can make it work it should all come it should all come together 
So this right here is one of my flexible seating seats that I'm gonna use. I have four of them. I got them from Five Below for like less than $6, an absolute steal. I think I might have two and two, or I might have four lined up against the wall with a rug. Um, I do already have a black rug that I'm thinking about placing right here. Not completely sure yet. I'm getting really tired, so I might set that up before I leave. Not completely sure yet, but let's see. I think we're finally closing down on finishing up the first day of classroom setup. What I am going to make sure that I do really fast is move all of these chairs and put them at each desk so that I can have this wall empty for whenever I come here tomorrow. Make it a lot easier for me, especially because I'm bringing my puppy up here and I need her to have the least amount of clutter as possible um and then i think we're gonna be done for the day Sesh, I think I'm completely done. This is where we got. I will be up here not bright and early, but around 11 30 ish, 12 tomorrow to try and knock out another big session. Here is a quick room overview. I didn't even really touch anything back here. That will be tomorrow's problem. Did really good with the chairs. I am going to place those at my teacher table really, really fast. We did it. I think we have finally come to an end of classroom setup day one. I, I say we did a pretty dang good job. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already yet, please subscribe. There will be lots more to come. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.